Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you what I have on my police belt. This is what it looks like. I figured I would do an updated version of this video since I haven't done one in so long. I think it is a little bit different from the first video that I put on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do before you leave. It'll mean everything to me. If you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on social media. We always have a good time over there, whether it's TikTok, Instagram. Does anyone use Twitter anymore? I don't know. Make sure you follow me on there. It's always linked in the description box. First, I'm going to run down the line what I have. Then I'm going to put it on and show you guys what it looks like on. First, we have the mags. I turn them sideways, as you'll probably see when I put the belt on, because the way that my new vest is, it just kept hitting it when it was upright this way. You always want to retrain whenever you move anything on your belt. Behind that, I have my firearm, a pair of handcuffs. These are the hinged cuffs, so that's what these look like. They are better suited for people who have smaller hands, so then it's easier for you to just grab it right in the middle and then just go clink, clink. So I do recommend these for females because it just is easier to grab onto. You always wanna make sure that you're putting your handcuffs ready to go on your belt. So when you unclip it, you should be able to unclip it quickly, grab onto the middle and click, click. This little pouch that holds medical gloves I always keep this stock because you never know when you need to double glove or when you need rubber gloves. Okay, so I definitely recommend hanging on to those, <laughs> whether they're in your vest, on your belt, always have a pair handy. I also have a box of gloves that I keep in my duty bag in the patrol vehicle so that I can replenish these as often as I need to. I have another case for handcuffs. Again, you want to make sure that the cuffs are ready to go when you pull them out. Next to that handcuff pouch, I have my pepper spray. It's friggin' torture. We had to get it done too in the academy and it was the worst. <laughs> so I'm not really sure why anyone would want that in their eyeballs, but again, if you respect police, we respect you back. If you respect human beings in general, they usually respect your back. So I just don't understand where this uh, disconnect is. I don't know. <laughs> right here is the taser holster. So um, obviously we check out our tasers when we get to work. We do not bring them home. So that's why it's not on there. That is my duty belt right now. I'm gonna put it on. Um, if it didn't get jostled. A lot of you always make comments about the tourniquet. I got a tourniquet holder, but it wasn't the right material for my vest because I initially wanted to put it on my vest. So now I have to get another holder. But I always have a tourniquet with me when I'm at work. It's in the car, but I am gonna put it on me. Pretty sure I did this on TikTok where I showed you guys how to put the belt on. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link my TikTok account. But you always gotta have an underbelt like this. This is the Velcro one that I have. I just think it's significantly easier and I think that it looks really bad when there's two clasps right here. So if you have one behind your duty belt clasp, it just looks too messy and idiotic. So I definitely recommend getting a Velcro belt. This one I think I just got off of like Amazon or something. It gives it much more of a cleaner look. Please, for the love of God, do not get a belt that already has one of these on it. Okay, it just looks really, really bad. You look like you're from Super Troopers. <laughs> so you just clip it onto the, the two clips, put it into there, move that over, and then you always align it with your gig line. So this front part, always aligns up with your fly. <laughs> and then I just move everything accordingly. So like I'm moving all of this to the side. My pouch for my gloves are the only thing that's in the middle there. And then handcuffs and gun are on this side. And we take our belt keepers, we put it through under 
your Velcro belt or whatever belt that you're using and you clip it on top of your duty belt like that. So I'm going to do it again. I always do one right here and I always have my um, work keys dangling off of this. And then I always do one on this side. When you're sitting down, you're not having a bunch of stuff going to your back because that's super uncomfortable. So I just leave my gloves there. And then everything else is on the side. This is what I mean by ready to go. So since these are on my right hand, when I get these out like this, you're basically opening them and boom, okay? You always want the keyholes to face the officer. I always wipe these off every time I use them. That's everything that I keep on my belt. I just got out of work, so that's why I'm filming this. I figured I would just film it while I still have my work gear on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you a little bit of insight on what you can keep on your belt. When I first started the academy, I had no idea what the heck uh, I should put on my belt and what should go in my vest. Quite frankly, it's personal preference and you have to abide by your general orders depending on what your department has written in those. So make sure you look at that. But um, yeah, everyone's belt, everyone's vest is all different, which is so funny to me because <laughs> we all do the same job, right? But everyone's setup is completely different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, <laughs> I'll talk to you later.